Hiya, I'm Jim and welcome to Geek Does. Today it's me answering the question, who are you? Because I've started this YouTube channel and obviously I've come from nowhere. Nobody knows who I am. But I thought it was a good idea to just explain who I am really. Uh, so as I've said on many occasions, my name is Jim and I consider myself to be quite a geek. But I'm also very much into fashion. I completed a fashion journalism degree. I graduated in June 2019 and now I am studying for a master's. It is currently November 2019 but my master's isn't in a fashion subject. It's in an art subject but I can do fashion with it. The subject I'm studying is critical creative practice and within that there are many different mediums that I can use um, and people can come from many different practices as well. So within that degree I am doing a little bit of art related study but mostly I will be doing fashion. My interest in fashion started at a really young age. As a child I wanted to be a fashion designer. I used to design clothes constantly. I used to do on an A4 piece of paper, split it into eight rectangles and just do eight designs per page and I had reams of them. At school I couldn't do art, I was not considered good enough artistically so I didn't pursue that. I then went on to do my GCSEs in performance actually. I did performing arts at GCSE and A-level. I didn't do very well in my A-levels so after I went into jobs. I started out working in the care industry, then I went into retail, then I went into administration. Um, I worked within administration for about a decade and I wasn't happy. I wasn't enjoying my job. I wasn't enjoying the atmosphere. I wasn't enjoying the nine to five. I started looking for other work and I wasn't able to find anything that didn't require me to have a degree if I wanted to take a step up and get a pay rise because I'd been working for a number of years in the same place. I'd had two promotions within that place, but I wanted to go further. But because I didn't have a degree, I was finding it really difficult to find a job. So I decided to pack up working full time, go to university, get a degree, and then I had to decide what degree to get. And I don't want to do administration for the rest of my life. That's not how I see my life. I wanted to go back to what I knew I loved, and that was fashion. And I also love writing. I love words not just writing though, any expression of words, even this, this is an expression of words. I love the English language, I love languages generally, I'm not very good at any others. I think that language is such an amazing expression. So I chose to study something that would combine my love of fashion and my love of words. That's why I chose to study fashion journalism. Little did I know that the course that I chose was not just about words, it was about so much more. It was about photography, magazine design, website design, making films, styling. It was so much more than just writing. It was just amazing. I had an amazing three years at university. The university I went to, I've mentioned it before, is Solent University in Southampton. It changed me as a person. Not only did I study there. I also went on some internships. I interned in London at Tank Magazine uh, for five weeks and I interned at Show Studio for two months. These experiences really did change me. They made me more confident in who I was, more able to feel that I could express myself. And that's when I started doing things like piercing my ears, dyeing my hair, wearing more interesting clothes. I had lived my life dressed as I thought others thought I should dress. As a child I dressed how I wanted. As a child I dressed really smart for a long long time and then it just became well I should dress how other people wanted. I just didn't start expressing myself in my clothing for me until I started this degree and well not even when I started I was halfway through the degree. And that's when I realised that everything I'd been doing, I'd been doing for others. And that's not how you should dress. You should dress for yourself. So that's now what I do. I dress how I want, when I want. I buy the clothes that I love, not just the clothes that I think are suitable. And I dye my hair purple. 
any other colours as well that I might want to. I've been bleaching my hair since January, just started dyeing my hair purple this month in November. With a degree in fashion journalism and a lot of interest in fashion, I decided to start a vlog. And although it's not always going to be about fashion, that will be the main underlying thing, fashion and beauty. And that's another thing, I am actually a trained beauty therapist. I did some courses in beauty therapy and I worked as a beauty therapist from my home for a long, long time. However, I've still kept up with my interest in beauty and male grooming, so I do continue with that. I love beauty products. I'm not a makeup artist, never going to pretend to be that. I did attempt a makeup course. That didn't go according to plan. But I have done many other beauty qualifications. So I think I'm pretty well qualified to be doing a vlog on fashion and beauty products. And that's why I decided to start one. And that's what this is. I am Jim, I am a geek, which is why I've called it Geek Does. In my first year of university, I did an article about myself. We had to. Uh, we were interviewed by a course colleague. They wrote up the interview. We then had to design the article in a magazine spread. And I came up with the headline, Geek Does Fashion. And then ever since then, that's been my tag line, I guess. Geek Does Fashion. But it's not just fashion that I do. I do many other things as well. And that's why I called this channel Geek Does. I also Geek Does on Instagram. I'm Geek Does on Twitter. And there is geekdoes.com. Currently, I am still at Southern University, as I said. And I have a radio show on the student radio there. That is Radio Sonar, and the show there is called Geek Does Radio. That is on Mondays from 5 till 6, and on Friday mornings from 8 till 10, I also have Geek Does Breakfast. So the whole geek identity is quite important to me, which is why I'm continuing with the glasses wearing, and why I will sometimes be sat here wearing a Justice League of America t-shirt like I did in my hair dyeing video. It's a huge part of who I am and it's something I'm very proud of as well as my love for fashion. So these things are combined on this channel basically, my love for fashion, my love for geekdom and my love for life and anything else that tickles my fancy that I might want to talk about. And that's it basically, that's all I wanted to say in this video, who I am, why I'm doing this. I don't expect to become an influencer, I've come to YouTube at a very late stage in its career, if I wanted to be doing a lot better I'd go on TikTok for example. But it's just for me to enjoy myself, to have an avenue to get this out there. So I'm just here for the ride. I'm glad you're here too. Let's just see where YouTube takes us. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe. You can watch my other videos. As I've already said, I'm on Twitter and Instagram as Geek Does. You can listen to my radio shows on Radio Sonar that I've mentioned. They'll only be running until December sometime, December 2019, if you're watching this in the future. You can also go on my website, which is geekdoes.com. If you're interested in my photography at all, you can go to jimwellerukcom or you can follow Jim Weller UK on Instagram. That's it, really. Thanks for watching.